Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we are just reviewing the CDO night. These all fellows are on night duty and they have done their cases. And today what we are doing, right now we are reviewing their cases, which they did overnight. Yes, Raj. Introduce yourself and describe the patient. Assalamu alaikum. I am Dr. Adnan. I am working in intensive care in the So uh, this is a case of a 50-year-old lady known hypertensive presented to us with a complaint of chest pain for four hours. And we see there was ST elevation in the pericordial leak on examination, uh, it was clear, and the diagnosis was MRI. This was her first admission. Yes, this is her first admission. So what the, was the comorbid additional hypertension? Coma? Just hypertension. Yes, hypertension. So you started with LV angiogram. Yes, so we did the LV angiogram that shows moderate immediate function. Uh, LVDK at that time was 15. Okay, let's see. The rest of the anatomy and your treatment plan strategy for this patient. RCA has, I think, mid diffuse disease. Okay. And this patient had no previous symptoms. No previous symptoms. It was the first symptom. First symptom. And it was this elevation in my presence. Are you, you again confirming your first impression that he has? She has diffuse disease in mid to distant mm -hmm. segment. Okay, and you did it through femoral. Yes. Why? Why not radiate? Yes, sir, um, because the uh, pulse paper for people. But usually, conventionally, we do every mm -hmm. case with radial yes, approach. Yes. Okay, the left system first view, I think AP cordial or RU cordial, severe disease in circumflex. And uh, severe disease. In LED mm -hmm. as well. But you have to have an AP cranial view or RU cranial view to confirm LED. So here you have not only severe disease, but this disease is, how this disease is different from the other two diseases. Flow is also flow. So there is Jimmy flow and you have some haziness in the lesion, which suggests this is the okay. culprit lien. Acute so culprit. Right. So out of these three, actually ECG is also guiding, but sometimes ECG, like in fear wall MI, you have to judge if you have disease in circumflex and RCA as well, at which one is culprit. Here it's clearly culprit result. So what you did after that? So then we took the guide ex uh, then we take uh, different uh, short further and views to further confirm yes. severe disease in circumflex again. Then we took the guide and we paused the wire mm -hmm. and we pre dilated the lien with a 215 uh, value. Okay. See, and we also we kept the wire, wire in the diagonal. Okay. That's your pre dilation. Mm -hmm. Because your yeah, distal wire is not rightly yeah, placed. Yeah. It's in small bones. Mm -hmm. Be very, very careful when you're doing acute interventions. There are a lot of anticoagulant antiplatelet on board. So it should be in its right place rather than in a small branch. Mm -hmm. So now you're putting a stent. What's the size of stent? So 3 or 22. Okay. You balloon whole of the area or just one part? So, uh, almost complete. Yeah. You did. Yeah. Complete the view is just of one portion. Mm -hmm. So that's the stent you placed after stenting. Okay, but still your wire is in a small branch. Okay. Other views further confirm any proximal or distal dissection. Then you post dilate. Mm -hmm. uh, it would be that we cross the uh, cross the wires. And then post dilated with 3, 5, 12 mm -hmm. NC balloon. Okay. Okay. Here you have put Timmy 3 flow in your LED. Diagonal has a flow slightly restricted, but since it's an acute case, that's why you haven't gone for diagonal intervention. Just maintain a Timmy free flow in LED and just I think left the patient here. Yes, sir. We that's your the, final view. This will be the polio stating. Okay, now the question is what to do with this patient. Next we will have the plan of state 
stage PCI too. Correct, sir. Yes. Any other plan, Salim? Uh, we have placed the tent in Hanavi, so there is no more option for the cabbage. Uh, yeah. So uh, the proximal segment of self was uh, stentable, so we can uh, put the stent in proximal segment of the first PCI. How you decide whether you need further interventions for circumflex as well as RCE or both or just one? Well, both regions are uh, severe and uh, we will uh, assess the patient regarding the symptoms. Yeah, if your patient is asymptomatic after this intervention, how do you have the intervention? Then, then what you uh, We will optimize the medical therapy and uh, once two, we develop the symptoms. Yeah. Just come here. Uh, I would like to add uh, in the treatment plan of this uh, plan of this patient. Uh, if the patient remains asymptomatic after this event, then we will keep him. Uh, we keep her on the medical treatment. Uh, if the patient uh, becomes symptomatic, keeping in mind that uh, the RCA security disease it is not stentable and the surf is stentable, then we have to decide uh, if the, uh, the ischemia or uh, uh, symptoms came from the CERC or the RCA, uh, we have to go for the stress uh, uh, in, uh, to further assess the symptoms, whether they, these uh, symptoms came from the CERC territory or the RCA. If they come so, from the CERC territory, then yeah. we will pick the CERC. Actually, you have multiple options in these patients. Firstly, you have to look for after this is sending, your patient is pain free or he's having, she's having ongoing symptoms. That's very important. Considering the background to be asymptomatic, so I personally believe that she will become asymptomatic because these two plaques are stable and there for maybe months. An LED plaque was ruptured, so in acute aggravation. So that's why she came with acute interior volume. If she would have in a background stable angina or unstable angina for months, then you have a difficult situation that his her other lesions may also be causing symptoms. Two, three things you can do FFRs on the table to decide about these lesions. If she's completely asymptomatic, can get thallium or stress fusion scans after this to see amount and extent of ischemia in different territories and her functional class as well. So you all are right in deciding that we will be deciding according. So that's all from this case. We'll again come with some other case next time.